first day video. Uh, kind of got a little bit of a late start due to the shuttle seemingly taking us forever. It took us um, three, almost eight hours to get started this morning. So, but we are on the approach trail heading up to uh, Springer. Another mile. <laughs> At least a yeah, mile, mile and a half. Did our math wrong? Right there. Today is Monday, April 4th. Uh, we're on day two hiking. We started the approach trail yesterday. Uh, eight point something miles up to the top of Springer. And then from Springer, 2.1 to the Stover Creek Shelter. Uh, so a double digit day, which last time I did this, it took a week to get to a double digit day. Um, we're Heading towards Ramrock Mountain now, on our way to Woody Gap. And our plan is to get to Lance Creek Shelter tonight, which will total 20, I think close to 20 miles. So, kind of uh, wild out here. I didn't have a 20 mile day last time until probably a couple weeks into the hike. So, uh, hopefully a Nero uh, into uh, Blood Mountain Cabins in Neils Gap uh, tomorrow. So, all is well. Having come out here, give you a quick view here. Um, that's what we're heading up to right there. Okay, see you later. Also, I wanted to point out some, a um, couple of rookie mistakes I made yesterday. You know, it's not like I haven't hiked this before. Let's see, first thing, was I dumped my water at my campsite, but that was okay. That was outside the tent, not a big deal. Cap wasn't on tight. And then, apparently my Gatorade dumped inside my tent, probably about half a 32 ounces, dumped into the foot of my, <laughs> my tent near my feet. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Today, I cut my finger. Um, and maybe that's about it, but still surviving.
Hey there. Um, you an idea what the trail looks like here. Uh, it is Tuesday, April 8th, I think. No, April 5th. And uh, coming down Blood Mountain. Second time I've been up on Blood Mountain, and second time it's rained on the Blood Mountain. But uh, we started rolling about 6.30 this morning in the dark. Uh, we are at a campsite just outside of Woody Gap, and uh, I was beat. Um, we did, it was 18 yesterday, and I think it was 11 or 10 the previous day, and this is another 10 today, so um, it's wearing on me. So I think uh, Colin's in front of me someplace. He's gonna try to get a room. He's leaving tomorrow morning. And uh, I might just zero tomorrow and uh, rest up and uh, head back out. But I just wanna give you a little bit on what the trail conditions are like on the north side of Blood Mountain. See ya. Good morning. It's uh, Thursday, April 7th. And I'm heading out of Blood Cabins, Blood Mountain Cabins, after a really nice day off here. I really needed it. And uh, hopefully the weather is clearing today, although it never really rained yesterday. And uh, heading up to, <coughs> excuse me, Mountain Crossings. Really have difficulty talking going uphill. But uh, yeah. Kind of happy to be back out on the trail today. I think I've got my pack kind of hopefully figured out. And uh, we'll see what today brings. Up over Leveland Mountain, a couple of bumps. Hopefully, hopefully past Low Gap Shelter and into Poplar Tent Site is my plan. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I just walked up the hill from the cabins. This is why I don't video going uphill. Because I'm completely winded. But, there's mountain crossings. Came down from Blood Mountain. It's up there on Tuesday. Spent day and a half here at Blood Mountain Cabins. And, uh, yeah, that tree. Just a quick thought. I'm looking around here, it's so foggy and yet so wicked cool. <laughs> yeah, help him out here. I guess today's my day to video. Um, I just want to give some thoughts. First of all, it's my first day. I get really, truly hiking by myself. Um, it's a little chilly, but. Nicely, and looking forward to some nice views uh, coming up here on Leveland Mountain. Just had some thoughts on how the hike went in those first couple days, those first two and a half days. Did quite a few miles, uh, close to 40 miles, which uh, is more miles than I did the first time, and we did it a day faster. So I needed that rest yesterday. But there are things that really were bugging me. Um, things, mental things. Um, it's not like I haven't done this before. I totally uh, misjudged my weight, uh, my food weight. I had way, way, way too much food. Uh, and also, I never have an appetite the first four or five days into a hike. So I was carrying all that extra weight, 
which really kind of compounded me mentally with uh, trying to figure out if I really want to be out here. Uh, but finally, I kind of got the pack down to where I want it to be. Uh, trying to, you know, begin to figure things out, beginning to kind of dial things in, and uh, truly, truly uh, very grateful for being out here. I'm really kind of excited to do this once more. So, uh, that's it. <laughs> My thoughts for the last few minutes. down here we have hummus and carrots if someone likes that kind of thing uh, these are ones the packs hot sauces etc these are ones you take with you to doctor up your food later on uh, and then a couple things and then we've got the fruit apples and uh, bananas and oranges and here's a couple things that will help you one these right here most hikers are using that towel I'm going to the vehicle there uh, microfiber towel, which is takes 30, about 36 to 48 hours usually to dry out. This thing dries out real quick. The question is, will it last? So a week and a half ago, a guy comes through, he goes by, he's looking at the towels, he starts laughing. And I said, why are you laughing at my towels? He says, because King Tup, you gave me it last year here. I made my true hike, and he gave it to me, so I washed it to show you, will it make it? So he had his one towel all the way to Katahdin. He was using it again this year. I said, please, I want your towel. I'll take it home, wash it as the demo to let you know. But this started because hypothermia here, 30 to 40 degrees in moisture is hypothermia time. The stuff you went through last night, we're trying to keep out of that water and the rain's coming up and, and the platforms and the whole bit. So trying to keep yourself and your tent dry so you don't get off the trail because of hypothermia. So we have that for you. There's two boxes of this right here. The idea behind this is you're wearing any of your clothes knit hats. It can be very warm, but you're pulling it off all the time because you're, you're sweating. And you don't want to be sweating while you're hiking. So anyway, so we have these. We'll give away about a thousand of them this year. 200 here and the rest up at, at trail days, okay? So if you want them, they're right here. One box will be with blazes. The other one is plain. So those are sitting right over there. Uh, try it on. Make sure it's covering your ears. You don't want it like this. You want it so that at night or whenever, you know, it's it's enough. Because they're breathable, you're not going to sweat. I use them in Ghana, West Africa, too. So, anyway, so that's some of the stuff. The hot hands are here. Just look and see if you want uh, if you want peanut butter. You got peanut butter and little jelly packs. You can take with you or whatever you want to do there. Um, if uh, anybody have any uh, physical stuff going on, knees, ankles, blisters, anything like that, I have three tubs of everything you find in a pharmacy, okay? I have a pharmacist's daughter, a nurse daughter, and some doctor friends that help me with all this kind of stuff. So we know kind of what we should be doing. If you know about rolling out, the roller's right there. One of the best things to keep you going is using that roller, take that thing, make it bend, put the pressure, do all your muscle moves. That will save you all that tightness you're getting. That's going to save your knees and everything. So anyway, so... Uh, where we just came down from up there and down into the gap and up here a couple thoughts um, just finished trail magic with King Tut and uh, yeah, got a really good ham and cheese sandwich uh, a couple Oreo cookies a coke I was disappointed that there was no beer so I think that's another trail magic up here uh, at Hog Pen Gap. And I think what I'm gonna do is pass all trail magic unless there's beer. So I've only had two beers so far. Uh, one was not officially on the AT, so I don't think that counts. The other one was in the parking lot at Springer. So, so far, 
one beer trail mix. This is disappointing. Just wanted to share this really nice and flat and smooth section of the Appalachian Trail. Had an absolutely gorgeous day today. Top 10 for sure. It's a little chill in the air, but great for hiking. Wow. Feeling great. Good morning. It is Friday, April 8th. Um, it's kind of early. I think it's before 8. Got out of the camp just after 7.30. It was a little chilly last night. Um, the temperature in town, I think, was in the low 30s. So, might have been lower than that. But, uh, it was warm enough. Um, right now, just a beautiful day out here. Another one. So just kind of cranking around and some flat stuff. Uh, hopefully do another, I'm hoping 13 uh, miles today, get up to Trey Mountain Shelter or a little further than that, which will put me into Dick's Creek Gap tomorrow, Hiawassee. So get a resupply and hopefully out of Georgia on Sunday. So that's the word from here. Yeah. Yo, yo. Um, I have a couple more thoughts. I'm gonna get these trekking poles before I trip over them. Um, hold on. Gear fix. Um, someone asked me on his Instagram the other day how this hike differs from the first one, and I really didn't have a good answer. And you know, I'm, I'm just laughing about it because I made so many mistakes, uh, the same mistakes that I made in the first hike. So I'm like, oh, wow, I guess this is the same. But, you know, as I'm now into whatever day it is, four or five, I begin to think about it, you know, it's really, there's, um, it's like there's no pressure. There goes one of those grouse. <laughs> anyway, there's like no pressure to prove anything. I think on the last hike, it's like, I had to get to Qatar. I mean, that was the end all be all. And, you know, I was talking to someone today earlier and we're talking about the 4,000 footers and the first round of 4,000 footers as I was going through them, you know, I, before I finished that hike, I was already thinking about the next hike and it got to a situation where I really wasn't even enjoying the hike. Um, it's just, I just wanted to get to the goal. And then the second round, was so much more fun, so much more enjoyable. And I'm kind of finding that out here that, because there's really no pressure to get to Katahdin. Yeah, I'd like to get there, but it's kind of like, I've already been there. So this is like pure enjoyment, you know, meeting the different people. So I said yesterday, I, I spoke to those ATC people for probably a half hour. And I said, that's what I'm gonna do on this trip. I'm gonna keep talking to people. And uh, those people, were, by the way, were hilarious. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but the guy we had run into up at Gooch, Colin and I ran into him at Gooch Shelter. He was leaving as we were coming in. He was complaining about all the shit people were carrying. And I was, <laughs> I thought he meant the packs. And he said, no, the shit in their stomachs because he had to clean out all the privies. Uh, one woman there also, again yesterday was handicapped she had a prosthetic leg and she and, she, and first of all she's an inspiration because she just she used to go out and prove that you know you set your mind to something you can do it so she's out here she had her partial leg amputated and uh she's out here hiking and she goes what i really like to do is go to the shelter i take off my prosthetic and i just hang my leg the stump over the edge of the shelter she goes all oh, the guys are real jealous <laughs> but she was hilarious so yeah i'm kind of enjoying that um 
really enjoying being out here. Of course, the weather's really good. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that subject when the weather turns shitty. So, all right, catch you later. Um, of course, going downhill, <laughs> the only time I video. Um, not sure if you can see these little white flakes that are falling here. <laughs> it uh, went from a pretty beautiful day this morning, all about chilly, to uh, snow flurries. And I think they're talking of frost tonight. Uh, and I think the temps are maybe in the high 20s. <laughs> Am I in Georgia or New Hampshire? <laughs> so it's still a blast. I'm still in shorts, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Catch you soon. Just wanted to show you what it's like when I'm going uphill. And this is why this will be the one and only video of me talking going uphill. Just coming down from Trey Mountain and uh, actually pretty close to the shelter. So my thought is I'm gonna go to the shelter and I'm going to um, use the bathroom on <laughs> uh, number one. Number two, well, maybe for number two, but ha ha ha, finding myself funny here. Uh, I'm trying to flip this camera on, can't do it. Anyway, um, well that's fine, you don't need to see me. Um, it's a little chilly up here. And my thought is, I've been going, it's just about three o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. And uh, my plan is to go a little further. Uh, I'm just gonna take a break here and let my feet rest. Shelter. So I can give my feet a little break, have a little snack, and I'm going to continue down because I think I want to get out of the way tonight. Uh, it's supposed to be really cold, and if I can drop down from my thing about 4,300 feet, uh, it might be a little warmer down below. So, see you in a little bit. Coming up from the water source here in uh, Georgia, and uh, sure am glad I got my version outdoor hat on. Thanks, Joe Mama. Good morning. It is Saturday, April 9th. And uh, I'm heading out of Sassafras Gap. And guess what? I'm going to town today. I'm going to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Hopefully it's still open from six years ago or eight years ago, rather. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Um... As you probably can tell, it snowed. <laughs> it's uh, kind of bummed out. I didn't get a video when it was snowing because it was really coming down really hard. Um, but as you can see, it's just kind of a dusting. Uh, it is cold right now. It is, I would guess, below freezing, but not by much. Maybe high 20s. Um, Slept great till about, I want to say midnight, and then just was kind of tossing and turning uh, all night long. Never really cold, um, just trying to find a comfort uh, area. It's like I have a quilt so the quilt doesn't close up on the side. You know, there's some snaps to hold it together, but uh, it'll let some cold air in. And if I'm sleeping on the other side, my back's just getting that cold air, but. Whatever, it was uh, kind of cool. Uh, I did hear from both John and uh, James today. Uh, John's gonna push on to North Carolina and I'm gonna meet James. He's got a room for me. Uh, they're splitting a room at the Around the Bend Hostel. Uh, again, just under six miles from where I am. So I really uh, expect to have kind of a Nero day today. Um, all still good, you know. I was gonna show you uh, my bear hang. I know that's one of the things that uh, 
I was asked to do, kind of show what happens up here in the trail, and I kind of forgot about it. But I think that's in the next few days. The next bear hang I do, I'll show you how, I say bear hang, bear bag hang, so where you put your food overnight, uh, so the bears don't come get it in your tent. So anyway, all is good. Let's see you in a little bit. Guess what? <laughs> Going downhill again. Uh, I think this is uh, <clears throat> closing in on the end of my day today. Um, a whopping six miles in Nero into Dix Creek Gap. Uh, kind of glad about it because it's, uh, well, it's not great. It's not bad, but I'm just beat from yesterday. I did, I think, 18 miles yesterday and, uh, I'm just a little deep from that. So, anyway, just wanted to check in and uh, tell you I'm really happy that I'm going to go for an all-you-can-eat buffet in a few hours. Catch you later. Good morning. I just finished coming up a hill. I was kind of waiting to at least level out so I could video. Here's again, I can't talk going uphill. Uh, today's Sunday, April 10th, on my eighth day, seventh day hiking on the AT. I'm just coming out of Dix Creek Gap. Uh, New Road yesterday was six miles into Dix Creek Gap and then uh, stayed at around the Bend Shelter excuse me, hostel, uh, quite possibly one of the nicest hostels on the AT. So really nice to stay there. Um, looking forward to today. I should cross the border out of Georgia. And uh, yay, I'll be one state down, 13 to go. All right, I'll catch you at the border. Hello again, going downhill again. <laughs> so. I'd make that last one pretty quick because it started going uphill again. Uh, a couple things on the hostel. Um, the reason I stayed at the hostel was uh, James, who I stayed with at Blood Mountain Cabins, had actually booked uh, a room when we were still at Blood Mountain Cabins. And uh, really worked out nice. There were four of us in the room. It's like 35 bucks a piece. Uh, clean hostel. You know, just really all the amenities uh, that you can imagine uh, in the main part of the hostel. We were in the off room, um, but in the main part, they had the masters on yesterday, so we were kind of watching that for a little bit. Not that I'm into golf, but, uh, but we ended up getting a shuttle into town to resupply and to um, eat. Eat was very important. I uh, went to an all-you-can-eat diner uh, or steakhouse called Daniel's and managed to get two full helpings in and a salad. Um, felt great, resupplied, uh, relaxed a little bit yesterday. Um, oops, sorry. And, uh, just really had a really great day. One of the trail angels that was in the area happened to make, um, burgers for us all last night. So that was kind of a treat. They were excellent. Um, met a guide around here called Firefly, who's hiked and who hiked in 14 as well. She was very late, late in October. Um, so it was good talking to them and the crew that she was guiding. Uh, what else went on? Met a few more people. There's one woman who stayed in a room by the name of Mulligan. <clears throat> and she was doing sketches. She actually did a sketch of me. Um, that uh, I took a photo of this morning in her sketchbook. It was actually pretty cool. And uh, yeah, just a, just a great, great day yesterday. So really kind of relaxed. Uh, I guess kind of glad I was in the hostel because it was quite chilly last night. There was no snow out here, but I think the temperatures were in the high 20s maybe. Uh, but the sun's out. Again, a beautiful day on this April 10th. Um, and I think... 
that's about it, to be honest. I'll think of something else and I'll chime back in then. See ya. Oh, just remember, a couple more things, both weight related. Uh, first, um, I weighed my pack as I was leaving the hostel today and it was 33 pounds. So pretty happy about that, considering I'm packing out a Powerade, a Coca-Cola, a sandwich, <laughs> and I'm fully resupplied for at least three or four days. Um, the other thing, again, related to weight, uh, the hostel had a scale and I'm down 14 pounds uh, in a week. Uh, which is okay. I just gotta make sure that we don't go too crazy here. All right, that's it. This cool little section in here. Oh, man, George is kicking my butt today. That's how it's doing. Going up, 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 up. But yeah, fun day.